You know what the best part is about being in a portion of the game where things most likely will not die? It really makes the editing process for these videos a lot easier because I don't have to change anything about the layout. And while I don't mind doing a little bit of editing, uh, because last episode I did literally talk about trying to like better and improve myself in a lot of ways with every single series I do, um, I also sometimes like to just drag things in, sync them up, cut them up, and export them. Just get them ready for publishing right away. Um, that is also a very satisfying thing to do because uh, just this little in my life that is as satisfying to me as pressing the export button on any given video. I would rather, personally, I would rather do a hundred videos that are a minute long than um, one 100 minute video. Uh, just because every time you hit that export button, you just get a little dopamine release in your brain. And this is a different route. We can capture another Pokemon. Holy crap, I didn't realize. This is two different routes. That's good. That's real freaking good. Um, even though if I do a one 100 minute long video, which I don't think I've ever actually made a video that long, have I? That's a video that's about like roughly two hours long. Two hours is 120 minutes. I might have made a video that's that long, but not with a lot of editing involved. Like maybe like a Kingdom Hearts video at some point, uh, a Let's Play episode. Maybe. I've done live streams that are that long. I've done live streams that are way longer. I've done a... Um, I've done a 12-hour stream. I've never done a 24-hour stream. I can catch uh, the final Pokemon this uh, guy, girl, whatever it is, has. Uh, it's an Lactobus, so it's probably... If you have a Magma as well, I'm gonna be so happy! Please have a Magma. I would very much like you to have a Magma, especially if it's got Flamethrower. Please have a magma. Or a jinx, I suppose. But I, I prefer a magma. Please get me. You know what? I've got guts. I'm kind of fine with this. <laughs> I'm kind of fine with that, to be honest. Because now revenge threats are a thing again. And we figured out how overpowered that is. Uh, like three episodes ago now i think maybe two i don't know it is a magma oh my god it's a magma i'm so happy we can't get the magma can we i think we can get that item so we could get a magmortar um whenever a space on our team frees up that is can we get that uh, item i think it's called the uh, magma i'm getting freaking Messages all over the place at the same time, like multiple. An email, a WhatsApp message, and then emails on another account. There's a lot of things happening at once. Um, and that reminds me that I probably should close WhatsApp here. Um, let's Mac uh, Pokemon Plat. I'm just going to go with Magmortar. Uh, and I'm just going to throw a ball at your face now. Because I'm not sure how much damage... I think I dealt quite a bit of damage there. Um, Magmortar. What is the item called again? It's a Magma something? Magma Riser. Huh. It's, a, it's a weird fucking word. Platinum. Route 214. We can get it. And it is, uh, it's over level 36. So. Where on Route 214 do you find it though? I'm going to take a risk here. Especially since Elena, I'm sorry, hasn't been that useful for the team yet. And Magma, even, especially if it's going to be a Magmortar, is going to be so much more useful. It's probably gonna die now, but that, that's totally fine. Let me look up where to get... Where do you get it? Items. Yeah, I accept your cookies and stuff. Um, on the floor. Platinum only. 
It's somewhere around 214. I'm gonna I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna freaking find it. Because that means we can get a Magmortar on our team. And we just had a death. Which means I'm going to, yes, have to do some editing. But also, we've got a free spot on the team. So, you know who is going to be part of the team. It's definitely not going to be Golbat. Even though I would very much like a Crobat. It's not going to be uh, Porygon 2. It's definitely going to be this guy. This Magma. You've got a you've got a place on my team. It's just that easy. You're proving yourself worthy by even needing a lot of damage against Hardy, which resists your attack. That being said, you probably should start to uh, like stay in the ball fairly quickly because otherwise you're just gonna die, which I prefer you not to. One, that's two, that's three, and that's a Mac Mortar. It's just that easy. I'll try to find it on screen this episode if I've got time. I probably will have time, to be honest. Uh, give a nickname to the Magma. Oh, let me go look up a Magma. Probably something to do with fire. I've got a lot of subscriptions to a lot of channels. Most of them not really fit to use as Pokemon nicknames. And I'm starting to slowly but surely run out of good names. So, this is going to be difficult. Because I'm, I'm literally subscribed to a channel called Jesus Christ. And not because I'm a religious person. Um, but it's... You probably know the channel, to be honest. It, it's the guy that, that's literally called Jesus. Um, used to be part of the Mormon church, got out. Now he's having, like, big family troubles with it. That guy. Yeah, you probably know him. Um, let me keep looking. I'm just going to go with a random channel, actually. Let's just go with... Martin, in the Little Wood. Which is funny, because it's a fire type. So, literally the opposite of what I wanted to... It, it's okay. Um, let's see. Um, uh, I think it's spelled like this. I, I'm not entirely sure. Where's the N? There it is. I think that's how you spell it. I'm, again, not entirely sure about the spelling of Martin. But you know who I mean. Martin in the Little Wood. And this is just going to be a very, very long walk. Where we can probably avoid most of the encounters we run into. But maybe not all of them. And then next episode we're going to be able to catch a Frostlass probably. Which is also very good. Okay, so uh, our potential team synergy is going to uh, to improve a lot because we just got the fire type. We potentially can get an ice type next episode. And don't battle me, don't battle me, don't battle me. Wait a second, is this the ice rock? I remember the ice rock being a lot bigger, to be honest. I thought it was four tiles big, not one tile. But I do remember this area now. Uh, I think the ice rock is to the right of where you want to be. I think to the left here. Yeah, we can go up. And then we can go to the right again. And we'll be... Golden to go into Snowpoint City. At which point... We have a lot of time left in the episode. And I'm not taking on the gym today. So... We're definitely going to give it a shot. Trying to find uh, the Magmizer on Route 214. Uh, but we have to do one more battle, I think, here. Yeah, okay. So this might be the last battle we have to do, mandatory. And obviously there's going to be a lot of battling uh, off-screen for grinding. Uh, first against wild Pokemon, maybe a little bit later on against uh, this particular trainer or others. But honestly, I think that grinding against trainers is not going to be as viable here. Because moving around is very... No, no, don't stay in, you fool! Uh, <laughs> that would be a bad decision. It's not a God of War yet, but it's still a Psychic type. And it's still able to probably do quite a bit of... Yeah, exactly! That would have been horrible. That would have been horrible. I took that so well with Jay, though. I took that so well. So now you're going to die in one hit. Because Earthquake is going to... You're not a fairy type yet. I was thinking, you, you, 
steel type is even going to be better? No, it's not, because you're not a fairy type. Fairy types don't exist in Gen 4. Look, if this was Renegade Platinum, definitely, would have gone for Flash Cannon. But, as it is right now, um, Earthquake. Not that it matter because both would have one shot. I don't know that Flash Cannon in this version of the game would have one shot. It would have gotten Stab, I suppose. Which would have made it, uh, I think, close to power, at least. Our team is starting to have a little bit more of a type synergy now. And with Magma on top of it, I, I really do, I really do appreciate that. That's going to fill in a huge gap for us, because we can now take care of water types with uh, with Harfu. And then we've got Martin to take care of like grass and ice types, and with the upcoming gym, which is ice type, that's going to be wonderful. <laughs> and uh, especially since I think she has. An abomus now, which is quad weak to fire, so flamethrower with stabs. It's going to annihilate, especially since I can evolve the magma. Probably, most likely. Magma is not going to be an issue whatsoever. It wasn't going to be an issue to begin with. The only thing that was potentially an issue there was Frostlass, because obviously uh, fighting wouldn't work against it, because it's a ghost type. But now that I've got a fire type, Probably Magma is going... Why did I think it was going to be something other than a Buneri? It clearly said Buneri. I don't know. Um, probably should have gone for Revenge too, there. Probably should have. Not that it matters, because this is going to annihilate a Buneri anyway, because it's... You could see, Low Pony wasn't very good either. You know, it's even worse. I'm very happy with how today's episode is uh, is going so far. And let me guess, this is going to be a snowfall. Because everything here is going to be a snowfall. Which means that Magma is going to have a very, very good time grinding here. Because <laughs> everything is either a snowfall or a Sneasel in here. Both of which die very easily. Sneeze or more so to fighting types, obviously, but still. Um, and I think Sneasel might only come out at night as well, which I usually do my grinding uh, during, like, afternoon and night hours. And this time I actually... Wow, that's a group chat I haven't had a message in in ages. So long the fact that it's not in, on mute anymore. I don't know, um... Actually, Lakefront, I can capture another Pokémon here. Okay, so we do, uh, we do do, heh, <laughs> do do. The gym first and then the Team Galactic part after, uh, after that. So I don't think there actually are any trainers in this Lakefront, is the thing. So I can't capture another Pokemon here. But I doubt anything would be more deserving of this spot anyway <laughs> than than the Magma. The Magma is just going to... Martin is going to be part of the team. And um, that's final. There's just nothing you can do about it. Even if I don't find uh, the Magmizer, just by itself the magma is going to be uh, worth it. So we're going to put away our dead low pony, which has been with us for quite a while now. Uh, we're not going to talk to whatever her name is over there. And then we're just going to fly. I did not press the B button. I did actually press the B button, but it's labeled as A because Xbox and Nintendo just can't play nicely, can they? Uh, let's move these to box one. We've got three Pokemon. Actually, now I've got two Pokemon in the backup because Martin is going to be part of the team. And Martin is already level 40. I didn't even notice. So it's not even behind 10 levels, which means that we are pretty under level, I think. Which is not good. So um, the layout probably just updated to having Martin on it. Or not. Probably did, though. I, I don't know. Probably did, yeah. Um, Martin's probably not going to actually be 
on the team this entire episode. <laughs> because now we're going back to Veilstone City to get the Magmizer in Route 214, which I don't know where it actually is, is the thing. Uh, so it's going to take a little while, and this might be a little bit of a shorter episode, because everything I have left to do right now is find that thing and grind for the gym. Because I don't know what levels the gym is going to be, but if our wild, not wild, if our trainer Pokemon capture was a magma at level 40, I imagine we probably should count on Frostlass being level 46, I want to predict. Which means that we're all going to be level 45. Uh, which means that Magmar is going to be level 45, is what I should say, really. So, let's try to find this item here. I think I've battled everybody on this route, so that shouldn't be too difficult. Is it that item over there? It has to be. It's one of the only items I haven't gotten yet, I think. So, surely it's this one. No, that's a big route, which uh, I think is uh, potentially literally useless. I don't even remember what a big route does, to be honest. Boost the power of HP stealing moves. Huh. So it's literally useless, as I said. I thought it was one of those items which was uh, worth a lot of money, like a nugget or a tiny mushroom or a big mushroom. But apparently not. Also, I'm starting to get hungry, but... Oh, wow. It's uh, 6.30. So yeah, that makes sense why I'm hungry. Probably should make dinner right after recording this episode, shouldn't I? Damn. I didn't know it was already dead. I woke up at like 1pm today. Um, I, I went to bed very late yesterday because... Uh, that's a red shot. That's not it either. Where is it? Where the frick is it? Okay, um, we're going to do this differently because I won't be able to find this thing. I'm pretty sure. So what we're going to do here is we're going to... Um, go to Google for this. And we're going to do this live on screen. Why? Because I'm too freaking lazy to cut away. Um, maybe I'm not able to get it yet, is the thing. Uh, platinum. Wait. Wait, this is not... This is a video that shows a way different place. Oh, that's how to get magma. I already have a magma. Don't worry. Does it also show you how to get the magma out there? It does. Okay, so Veilstone City, that's right. And then... Let, let's run away from this battle. It's not that long of a video, so surely it's not that difficult to get. Is it an invisible item? It must be. Oh. Oh my god, I'm just stupid. Okay, so as it turns out, <laughs> uh, I've already battled this guy. I think on screen, even. Um, and this guy. As it turns out, it's literally this item over here. Yeah. Uh, does that also, like, boost anything? No, I don't think it boosts any stats, does it? I don't know what I'm gonna do uh, with... I don't think... I don't think it has any other... uses. So I'm probably just gonna keep it in the bag. I assume. I could just... I mean, I could toss it after evolving uh, Magma, because obviously usually when you trade uh, with it, it disappears when it evolves, when the Pokemon evolves. But uh, I'm not going to be able to trade with it, I'm going to poke a it into a Magmortar. So, the item is just... I need to be able to get the item in order to do that. Like I said, with Porygon 2, I don't think I can, can even get the dubious disc, or whatever it's called. And uh, as a result, I won't be able to evolve it into Porygon Z. But now that I'm saying that, um, I want to test that, because that might not actually be true. So, let's just... Because we've got time left in this episode... Um, Pokemon Platinum Dubious 
It is a dubious disc. Okay. So where do you get it? I think you get it from Professor Oak in the post game. Uh, is the thing. So acquisition. Route two twenty five. Or Galactic HQ in Platinum. So we could get it fairly soon. Apparently, because yeah, Route two twenty five is post game. But in, uh, in Platinum specifically, you can get it in Galactic HQ. So if need it, um, we can go get it in Galactic HQ and then evolve Polygon 2 into Polygon Z as well. So we don't need that right now, but that's a real good backup option to have. Um, it's good to know. It's just good to know. So let's place Toby back in the box. Let's make the layout actually... Um, tell us the truth with Martin being on the team. Next episode it's going to be McMortar anyway, so until then though, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you have enjoyed this little bit of a shorter video next time we'll be back with a team that is a certain level, I don't know what level uh, yet, and uh, Martin is going to be a McMortar and we're going to annihilate the gym and then face Team Galactic one more time. Until then, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe I'll see you back next time. Bye bye